Hello everyone, in this video I am going to explain you about Neutrino Storage API. So this storage API is very similar to local storage of your browser. So this local storage implementation gives some kind of uh, storage uh, location to save your data across uh, multiple sessions of the browser. So if we compare this uh, local storage with uh, Neutrino storage, so this uh, storage, uh, local storage gives some kind of uh, uh, global location to save data across multiple uh, browser sessions, right? So this uh, storage, uh, Neutrino storage uh, provides uh, some kind of uh, global storage across the multiple modes. So as you know, uh, there are several modes of Neutrino JS. We can see in the this documentation, we have window mode, browser mode, and uh, cloud mode. Uh, if we run our applications uh, in window mode, uh, those applications will be executed uh, inside the native window, in window mode. If you use the browser mode, our applications will be launched uh, in the uh, browser, default browser. If you use the cloud mode, uh, there is kind of a way to uh, uh, share our application between uh, multiple users. So both solutions, local storage and uh, Neutrino storage, uh, provide some kind, kind of a key value storage key value database for you to store uh, any uh, uh, data of your application. The data can be like uh, user details or application state likewise. Let's check a bit about key value storage, uh, how this key value da databases are built. So we have this kind of structure in uh, any key value storage. So we have keys and also values. For an example, we have a K1 key here. Uh, for the K1 key, we have this data record. If we need to retrieve this uh, data record, we need to provide K1. If we need to uh, store new uh, key and value pair, we just need to provide new key and also value, right? Let's say this K1, K5 is the newly uh, provided, uh, newly saved uh, data record. So if we need to access it, we, we just need to provide K5, right? So as I mentioned, this uh, storage API can be used to save uh, uh, data globally between uh, multiple modes. If you uh, execute your application in window mode, you can access your data. And if you uh, execute uh, your application in any of other modes, uh, also you can access uh, the same data. Let's check how you can use this storage API. Now I'm going to demonstrate this uh, Neutrino JS storage API. For that, I already created a new Neutrino JS application using a new CLI. Now I'm going to open the application, uh, run the application using new run. So this application will be launched inside the native window because it is using window mode. So I already uh, enabled the enable inspector property as uh, true uh, because uh, I just need to execute some uh, JavaScript snippets uh, here to uh, show you how uh, Neutrino storage API works. For that uh, we can use Neutrino and uh, we can use this uh, storage uh, namespace. There are two methods. We have uh, put data to uh, set data and get data to uh, retrieve data. Now we are going to set some data. So I'm going to use put data method. So this uh, one accepts uh, an object, a JavaScript object uh, consists of uh, bucket and uh, data. So we can provide uh, key as the bucket uh, property. I'm going to use, let's say K1 and uh, some data string. For that, I will use some test value. Now we can see uh, this command, uh, this uh, snippet was executed uh, successfully. It means that uh, data record is saved. Uh, we can see uh, that where Neutrino JS is uh, saving those uh, data records. We can see a new directory inside uh, this uh, root directory of your application called uh, storage dot storage. So inside this storage dot uh, storage folder, you can see all the data records. Now we saved K1, so here's the K1. Since we stored this K1 uh, data record, uh, let's try to retrieve it. For that, we don't need to provide any data because we need to get the data using this key. So we are going to use key as K1, this bucket as K1. Let's use uh, 
get data instead of put data because we need to retrieve data so here's uh, the data record we have data as a test value now i tried this one uh, using the window mode let's try to access the same data record using browser mode as well so for that i just need to close the application and uh, change the mode of the change the default mode of the application so this is window i am going to add the browser as the default mode i'm going to rerun the application now remember i saved the data record using k1 uh, bucket name so let's use uh, neutrino and uh, storage and also get data method here we just need to provide bucket name which is k1 so here we can see the data uh, record the content of the this k1 key if you provide the data record uh, uh, which uh, doesn't exist yet uh, there will be some error thrown so this is not uh, yet created let's try to modify that k1 data record for that i need to use uh, neutrino storage put data Here we, we need to provide the bucket name which is k1 and data let's try to store some json uh, object so for that we need to provide uh, a string here then we need to use this uh, stringify uh, method from json let's try to store some json object some uh, random data added here so this is stored now let's uh, try to access this one from uh, cloud mode now so for that i need to switch the mode of the, my application so this should be cloud i'm going to rerun the application now the new Tegino server is started running at this URL, I'm going to open it. I'm going to access K1 now. Don't need to provide any data, just need to provide the key. Get data. So here we have the value, we have the value we stored earlier. Likewise, we can uh, persist any data uh, of your applications. Uh, globally across all modes of neutrino uh, those data can be like application state and or maybe user details likewise if you just need to uh, erase all the data er erase all the key value pairs so you just need to delete this uh, directory programmatically or manually so this is how you can use the neutrino js storage api in next video i'm going to explain a new feature maybe see you in next video